Hello, yeah. I support your determination for self-determination, but I just want to remind you of something. You know, the ANC had a, a rule which they weren't going to break. It was in the Freedom Charter of 1956, which says that the resources of South Africa would be used for the people of South Africa. And, you know, and they, they were determined, the Freedom Charter, not to break this. But in 2002, I saw an interview with Nelson Mandela, conducted by John Pilger. And his answer was, why have you broken that charter? And his, his reference was the fact that the, the precious resources of South Africa still remained in the hands of the very few white elite post-apartheid. Post -apartheid. To the extent that here in this country, Mrs. Thatcher's son moved to South Africa. Lady, Lady, Mande um, Lady Diane Dispenser's brother moved to South Africa because the tax rates were so favorable if you had wealth. At a time when the people in Soweto were still living in, in um, steel shuts without running water, as you quite rightly said. And when, when um, John Pilger asked him why he said this, his answer was really interesting. Nelson said, but... I haven't cheated on that, that, that charter. You can now buy shares in these companies. Well, clearly, the people in Soweto can't buy shares. That, that, that massacre you mentioned in 2011, what you didn't say was that one of the shareholders was Cyril Ramaphosa. Mm. He used to be on the TV in this country every day, leading the ANC. Now he's one of the very wealthy guys mm. who's getting Anglo shares, profits, he's, he's rich. When he was asked, you shot people who were unarmed. He had nothing to say. I just want to say to you, and I'm going to wrap this up quickly. My, my fear is that you're not addressing the issue. The issue is the reason we love Nelson Mandela is because he made a deal with the white elites, the power structures, the, the De Beers, the Oppenheimers, to remain in power and he wouldn't touch their, their wealth, he wouldn't share their wealth, and that's why we in England love him, because the press tells us to. He, he, he betrayed the people of South Africa. Mm. And I'm frightened that unless you actually address the fact that the laws of South Africa doesn't make the corporations share the wealth as the Freedom Charter of 56 demands, my fear is nothing will change. Yeah.